Hello everybody and welcome back to Rusty Acres, the realistic series. Loosely realistic. As much as it can be. So yeah, what we're going to do is get this field analysed and cultivated to begin with. Yeah, nice and realistic. Driving through the hedge. As I said. <laughs> Loosely. Um, I could never advertise one of my series as being 100% realistic. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll get this done. And then we can apply the lime so that we can get the right pH. And we had the vote yesterday for field number 24. So I, I obviously don't know what the final figures are going to be because the vote is still running. But there was a clear winner from when I started this episode. And it was onions, which is actually quite interesting because I actually suggested onions. So I don't know if that had a bit of an influence. It might have done. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to do on onions in field number 24. As for this field and the other fields, I think we're going to have to run a vote. We actually have two more fields to harvest. It's two ready. One of them is literally just there, where the combine is waiting to go. And the other one is field number one, which is just over there, in that direction. It's a nice field. I think I did mention before that field number one is going to be turned into grass or clover, or maybe alfalfa. But before we do any more harvesting, we have to work on these fields, and I would love to start spreading some compost today. It's going to have the same effect as manure, or just fertilizer, but yeah, obviously it isn't. It is compost. It is its own thing. So it's just a different way of doing things. Should be interesting. But first, let me just finish off here. And then we can do the lime. And then we can look into doing our compost. It does mean we're going to have to get a spreader. The lime is done. Okay, so it's time to change this tractor over here. 7250, we actually started off with it. I don't really want to keep it. It's a nice tractor and everything, it's just we don't need to keep using the same machines. Well, I suppose it's been a while since I last used the case. Still, in general, over the course of FS19, it's been used quite a bit. So we're going to replace it with a fence. It's going to be a Probably a downgrade, uh, I think, what, what was this, 260 horsepower? It won't be as much as that. But not to worry, it doesn't matter. It's also going to be potentially older. Older and smaller. <laughs> Quite an upgrade. I really would love to get the Fenton Black Beauty. We can't afford it at the moment, but it is something that I'm seriously considering. I think I should probably also play more in first person view in this series. What does everybody think? Do you think as I was doing or maybe 60, 70% first person? I think it's nice to have a bit of third person, otherwise it can be hard to see exactly what's going on. Right, okay, so this hasn't really been used, in fact it hasn't been used. Zero hours. We should be able to get quite a bit. Yes, the trigger is a little bit tricky to find. There it is. So actually, it is quite expensive. £131,000. Let's head into medium tractors. It is the Fent 615 turbo chip. I did say it was smaller. We're going to go for the biggest engine though. So it's still 210. It's pretty good. 
I think wide tyres would be the way to go. Long air filter, short air filter. I think we'll go for long. Looks a bit different. And no, we don't need to have the front loader attached today. So that's £64,000. That's nice. Uh, and it's, it's going to give us the money to get the spreader. As long as I know exactly how to do this, <laughs> which I don't. Right, so we could use this one here. Or we could buy this one and put it onto the Zarian. Even that one is only 35,000 litre capacity. So it's hard to know. You can see we've got the compost icon there. There's also this one and this one here. I do like the look of the Roland. I think it looks very nice. The Bergman is nice too. I can't just sit here choosing. Yeah, if you look at the price difference, we can't really justify the difference there. So we'll go for this one to begin with, and then maybe eventually we'll go for the big one. Ooh, a different spreader system. Well, we're going to have to go with this. As for the wheels, uh, yeah, you can have inverted. And, oh yeah, they look good. I think we will put them inverted, actually. You do see that quite a bit, quite often, on these spreaders. So yeah, as I said, hopefully, I know what I'm doing here. I, I've never done compost before, but I've, I've got the, the buy points, so I think all we have to do is head over there, fill it up, pay for it, and spread it. That's if I've got it right. And with the modified precision farming mod by Fluke, Fluke modified it, um, yes, it, it should work as a, as a manure, basically, as a fertilizer. Okay, so from here, I've put it at the BGA. I think that is the most suitable place to have it. That's where the space was. And the problem is I've never actually been to the BGA. Now it seems fairly easy to get to. That's good. Well, it's a nice tractor, and actually, the, the transmission is an upgrade. This is faster. The case was only uh, 26 miles per hour, this one is 31. So I'm guessing that is 40k and 50k. This one being 50. Right, so we're going down here. I don't think we need any kind of front weight. So we are going without to begin with. We can have a front weight. Yeah, really hope I have done this correctly. You can also buy, if you've got the compost mod, you can buy the compost in bags. It's a thousand pound a bag though, I don't know if this ends up being cheaper. But here we are. Pop it under there. Oh. <laughs> Bit of perspective issues there. Yes. Pop it under there, and we fill. Must be charging us. Yep, but it's not charging us as much as a thousand pounds for a thousand litres, I think it was. So that is the first step done. Now we just have to make sure it actually works. Make sure I've done it the right way. I reckon we can probably go south. Yep, if we go south and then go back north. Trees! We're into the forest. I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually done a first look tour on this map and I really regret not doing one. I think I probably should have done, although it does leave surprises if you've never seen the map before. It's, it's, I, I have seen the map before, but not sort of in detail. I had a look at it and I was just impressed immediately. So yeah, what we're looking for is for this to act as Fertilise it wants to be nitrogen. That's a good start. Very promising. Okay. We want that map to change colour. It is doing. Ah, oh, brilliant. So, for the first time, I think an FS19, for me, I am spreading compost. It makes a nice change, and actually, that is a very impressive working width. And because we put the lime on first, it's so clear. So easy to see where we've been.
no excuses for missing bits. And after we've done all this work, we can put the crop in. It's going to be, like I said, it's going to be onions, so we do need to get it done. The onions work with our big drill, so it actually won't take too long. I think I would prefer to get the onions put in today rather than start harvesting the other fields. Oh, sorry, I, I need to perfect my turning. I probably should have gone to the end and backed up since it is a 90 degree turn. Nice compost. Yeah, nice and uh, it looks very rich. It's also not consuming it very quickly. So I'm very pleased I went for this spreader, not the big one. It wasn't necessary. Having said that, we might have to go and fill up. Well, we are going to have to fill up because we've got the other fields to do. But it is so cheap. Such a good way of buying it. Buy in bulk. And it's cheaper than fertiliser. Yeah, I just cut down the middle just as a demonstration. Now we can do it properly. And I'll see you when the field is done. almost had enough so let's just finish off I think just be, it would just be a case of going down and back up again as mentioned in the previous episode I'm not 100% sure what to do with these poles it probably would be easy just to put a grass strip in but it would mean wasting land essentially I mean the poles have priority <laughs> they are providing a service but for me, I think I would prefer just to put a, a, a basically a nature strip in. Now with the other fields which we have to harvest, I think they are cereal crops so we should be getting the straw so we can start pellet production. That is going to be interesting. I look forward to it. Let's just make sure we uh, know which crops they are. Okay, yeah, so we've got wheat and we have wheat. <laughs> Lots of wheat. Wheat is good. And I think we'll probably turn both fields into pellets. It's going to be a big job, but it'd be worth it. And we can also use the straw as bedding for the cows. Now as for the cows, they're going to be waiting uh, just until we have everything ready. I think once I've harvested those two fields, we'll be able to transfer them across. So it'll either be the next episode or the episode afterwards. And then it's going to be full on because we have 50 cows and we don't have much food. So I do need to prepare things. Okay, so there we go. That is done. If you see the odd spec which hasn't been done, it doesn't really matter. It's a negligible amount. The point is we can see that it looks good on the uh, nitrogen map. So let's go back. Let's go and get the Zerian. I'm going to put those onions into the ground. I always thought that you did the onions with the planter, but we actually used the drill. Love this crossing just here. It just feels so, well, British. It just 
just feels like you're in the uh, countryside in England. We do need to spread the field just back there as well. But yeah, priorities. I don't think we need to keep the compost under cover, so we're just going to back it up, park it around here. And as soon as we have the cows, they're going to be producing their own manure, so we're not even going to have to buy anything. It might take a little while until we're at that stage, but yeah, with 50 cows, they're going to be quite busy. Okay, there we go. But yep, a very nice tractor and a very nice spreader. It just looks so realistic. Right then. So, the Zerian I left in the field. Oh, I forgot about the Zeta. Or Zeta. <laughs> Um, yes, definitely a, a split opinion on that. It's like 50% of people call it Zeta and 50% call it Zeta. It doesn't matter. Definitely doesn't matter either way. We know what everybody's talking about. Yeah, I'll take this back to the farm. And there we go, it's back in the shed. Now, the remaining fields for number 8, 7 and 1 they're all going to support the cows in some way, so at least one of those fields is going to have to be turned into grass. Doesn't matter which one, but one of them is. They won't necessarily all support them uh, continuously, but we do need the space to grow the crops to feed the cows, so it is very important. Right, so now we can get to the Zarian, which is just here. We can leave the cultivator here for that field, and we can leave the, uh, the analyzer here for that field as well. All we need is the drill. I don't know if I filled it up. Did I fill it up? I might have done. I think I did. Let's just get this Merlot put into a better place. Not great just there. The telehandler shed really is just around the corner. The straw cell point. Because I can't really use that shed for anything else. It's just going to be for this sort of thing. That's fine. And yeah, now we can get the, uh, the seed drill attached. We have the weeder. It's going to be useful. Oh, I didn't fill it up. So we're going we're gonna to have to spend some money. Which is fine. And yeah, you can fertilize at the same time. I'm not sure if that's going to have any kind of impact on our field because we've put the compost on. I don't think it will do. I think I'm just going to put the seed in the ground. I reckon we would benefit from having a seed refill point. Okay, two should do. I guess I could have used the big bags. Anyway. Yeah, we'll get both of those put into there. It's probably not going to show as much, but I think two pallets is plenty for a field of that size. It's going to be over 50% of the drill. 54%, that is fine. Okay, right, well this is it. The onions are going in. Just need to make sure everything is working as it should do. Looks good so far. It's consuming the seed. Yep, seems good. We've got a texture change, obviously. Although I don't doubt it, I will just check. Yep, fantastic. Good. So, that is going to be the first field drilled when this is done and it will probably be the last field that we harvest I do need to save up quite a bit of money even to rent the onion harvester having said that I am going to look around for a different onion harvester I know that you can use the modified sugar beet harvester or potato harvester, I can't remember what it is um, 
and we might end up using that, but I would prefer to use something, like if a modder has created an onion harvester, then it's absolutely fantastic. We'll use that. I just need to have a hunter round. But it is a big field. For onions, this is a big field. It's going to take us some time to harvest. Field of onions. Almost done. Yeah, I've just been thinking about harvesting them and no way are we going to be able to harvest between those poles. So we should leave them, leave it like that, and it should be fine. So yeah, when we get to the end of here, we'll get everything taken back to the farm. We'll wrap it up for today. But as you can see, so far we've used 14% of the drill. So really not too bad at all. As I said, two pallet loads is actually quite a bit. It's a lot of seed. Okay, which we'll back up, tidy that piece up. And we're finished. Lovely. Okay, I'll see you over at the farm. Next time, we should be in that pallet production hall just there. We're home. So I mustn't forget we actually do have a few other pieces of equipment which I haven't properly acknowledged. I've mentioned them but yeah I need to really just fully understand what we do own. There is more than what we have here. So actually I'm going to put this in here. It'll be easier. There we go. And then the tractor, is that still switched on? Don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, the tractor can go into here. Nice and cosy. Yeah, just around the back. It's, oh, it's definitely a baler, possibly a mower. Good rock to bounce over. Yep, so we have a windrower, we have a baler, and we have a mower. Oh, and a tedder. So that's great. Next time I need to make sure I don't just say, oh, we need to go and buy these things now. Should we have them? We probably don't need the round baler. We'll probably replace it in the future with a square baler. But as we have the pelleter, that's going to be very useful. But yeah, just thought I'd mention that to remind myself and to remind my viewers. Uh, although you probably remembered. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.